Um, hello, Nina. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I, I'm great. Okay, watch the first four episodes. I am just jonesing for the rest. Oh my God, they left me on such a little cliffhanger. I'm oh, like, mm, this is not I fair. Yeah. I am loving this series. I was drawn in from the first breath. Tell me when you got the script, what was your reaction to it? Oh, I was overjoyed. I mean, I, I think at first I was like, okay, is this going to be like another resort themes TV show? And then I read it and it is so, um, so different from anything that is on TV right now. Um, yes. Twilight Zone elements. It's like, it's, it's bizarre. And, um, and funny and sad at times and it really gets you thinking and I think um I think people are really really gonna like it oh yeah no question about it it's just it's so so clever the way that they weave the future and the past and, and it's just unbelievable and you have such a great chemistry with Skylar Gazondo who I am in love with that guy he everything he does he's hilarious He's yeah. so, you know, he just has that needy thing about him, but he's so great. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how you guys bonded. Oh, he's, he's so, he's incredible. And he's so easy to uh, talk to and, and meet. I, I didn't know him before. So we, we met, I think literally a day before our first scene. Um, wow. No, not even, I think we met on the day. We met on oh the day. Oh my God. And um, luckily we already kind of, hit it off and had great banter yeah. um and then i think the blessing we, we we shot it in order um so we shot a lot of our first scenes where we are first meeting for the first time right. when we were first meeting for the first time the first scene we shot actually was the head wound scene and there's like some oh. nervous energy and it's really awkward and i think that was perfect because it was the first day of shooting yeah we, we were getting to know each other we were getting to know like the crew and the directors and it just kind of meshed perfectly yeah. uh, and worked out really well because I think that scene is super oh. awkward and uncomfortable but also like trying to figure each other out and, and yeah it's the best it really was so awesome and the way it's interpreted interpreted in the future and read back that scene had me howling on the floor I mean it's really like I said Andy's just created something He's so clever Truly, it, yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, I have to ask you, Nina. Okay, so I'm sure you know you've been on vacation, I'm sure, in your life. Um, have you ever been to a resort where you thought, this place is giving me the creeps and what's going on here? Um, I I had never been to a resort. So actually, like like going to shoot this was great. Yeah. We actually shot at um uh a Ritz Carlton in Puerto Rico that had been uh destroyed by a hurricane. And they let us shoot there and while wow. they were still remodeling it. So we got to do whatever we wanted to it. Um, we got to shoot like the before and after in the same location. And that hotel totally gave me the creeps because it was like the outside was pristine, but then the yeah. inside and there were all these doors, which were we, like our holding rooms were, and there were like doors to doors. And I totally like explored. Um, and yeah, that was super creepy, but um, really so really cool fun. though. Yeah. So cool. Um, and of course, your dad is played by the fabulous Nick Offerman. When yeah. you're working opposite such a veteran of comedy like that, and he's so droll, you know, you just never know what's going through that head. What no. do you learn from working with somebody well, like that? So much. I mean, I think I think first and foremost, you learn um, to be humble yeah. because he's incredibly kind and generous and and um I learned so much life stuff from him and then in terms of like scene to scene just kind of just saying whatever comes to your mind and not not editing and not worrying about it and uh really just kind of having a conversation with him like while the camera's rolling and and um yeah I, I think we, like he was teaching me how to use chopsticks uh because he had spent a year in Japan when he was younger and uh I think that made it into the uh, one of the episodes where we're sitting. And so uh, just like little things like that, that weren't in the scripts, you know, yeah. there's, there's room to play outside of just what is on the page. And he was like the perfect, most generous partner to play with. Yeah. How frustrating was it? Is it sending texts on an old razor phone? <laughs> <laughs> it was really, because I had to like, 
I had to uh, go back into the do, 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 and I don't know. I don't, I can't believe that back in the day I was really fast at doing that because I was trying. Right? Like, this is so hard. I, mean, <laughs> I got like snake up and like was during some scenes when I was supposed to be texting, I was totally playing snake on the phone and being like, oh. Yeah, I, I I used to like the brick breaker thing. Oh no, I think that's yeah. Blackberry. I can't remember, but, no, anyway, but yeah, 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 Tetris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. But it's amazing how we like you know with the new technology how we forget how hard it was with the old technology. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to take pictures and like that. I could not figure out like every time I would press the OK button, it wouldn't take the photo. It was like some random button I had to press. But yeah, I was having so much fun with those phones. Good stuff. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time today, Nina. You're so good in this show. I cannot wait to finish it off. And uh, greetings from all your fans here in Canada. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.